Hi, this is Ron McChip, we're playing the Hunter on PC, and today we're doing the Summer Fiesta Marksmanship Challenge. What you've got to get is the highest average distance for your Dole Sheep, Arctic Fox, and Sitka Deer using any bow of your choice and any crossbow. Targets must be taken down with a single shot. Now, as you can see, we're on White Ryan Ridge, all the species we're after are on White Ryan Ridge, which is great. It's not really a summery uh, scene here, is it? got blizzards, snow everywhere, um, very wintry so it's a bit odd for a summer event but it is also fun. The first species we're going after is the Sitka deer. Now our location is brilliant for this because we spawned at Afterland Lodge and when you come straight out of there from spawning in the first time probably the first thing you hear is a Sitka deer calling. So anytime Afterland Lodge, Sitka deer, it's that simple. I am going to make an animal map, I'll put in uh, the video description, just check that if you can't find some of the species during this event and they will be in those locations. So we've got Sitka deer calling, it is a female, it doesn't matter if it's female or male, we're doing the highest average distance. Now I could try and win this comp, I reckon I could place in the top three, but I'm not going to, I'm just playing it to enjoy this. Uh, I was speaking with a guy I know called Tony, you've probably seen him in some of my uh, long shot videos, I think he'll probably win this event, uh, I did say to him you should have a go at it, but I haven't got the time to put in to win this, so I'm just playing this one for fun, um, I do like the long shots with a bow, and I know I could come top three if I really wanted to, but I just haven't got the time to do it, make the videos, and you know what I mean, do everything. Uh, at the same time for this event it's just not not fell right but I, I do like the event it's very nice so I'm just going to be playing this one for fun We've got sit career it's about 100 meters so it's not too far out it's still a decent shot for a bow We're using the snake bite and that's down it is a female but remember it's about distance not the species or the score so we'll go down and collect that and that will be our first entry for those of you who don't know um, white rhyme can have some very long shots if you take the time to find the special places to get them. Now, by special shots, I mean probably over 400 meters if you get them like that peak on top of there, for example, and shooting in certain places. But the thing is, weather is so important. Um, it's quite clear at the minute, but you know the blizzard it was a minute ago. If you'd have shot in that, my arrows would have been bending left or right, depending on which way. Um, the wind was blowing. Now you can see that with snow because the snow actually travels the way the wind is blowing, which is very sweet, uh, nice touch. But it also <laughs> means you've got to like sort of bend your arrows, and realistically, you're not going to do that. So here's our first uh, species, the Sitka. Let's take a trophy shot with it. Next, we're going to go after one of my. Uh, I don't know how to say this. Uh, not my favourite species, uh, Arctic Fox. I like the way they look, but foxes in general I'm not a big fan of. Uh, same as roe deer. Those two species I don't really like hunting too much. I don't know what it is about them. The Arctic Fox does look very nice. I do love the look of the fur and everything, but they're not one of my favourite to hunt. So let's take a trophy shot. We're going to move on, and then we've got to get one of the Arctic Foxes with the bow. A lot harder than the Sitka deer. A bit more spookier, some people have trouble with them, but they're quite easy to locate, and I'm going to show you where now. So let's go and uh, fast travel to the other spawn. And we fast travel to Danforth's Refuge, and basically all you do is you walk straight behind it, and you get fox scores. So they're really easy to find. Obviously, if you don't know that, they're not easy to find, but if you go Danforth's Refuge, straight behind it, foxes. So we've got an arctic fox coming in, and like I say I'm not going to win, try and win it, I'm just playing it for fun, so we're just going to call it in and hopefully kill it with the uh, snake bite bow. They have got a function if you've got sunglasses on where you press Z, if it's a bit white for you and it uh, tints it down a bit, makes it a bit more easy on the eyes. because. White rhyme, if you play on it for a long time, can be uh, a bit intense. There's the Optic Fox. 
We've hit it, but uh, <laughs> no, he's run away. Hopefully it doesn't run too far and we'll collect it. But at least it didn't spook and we didn't hit, and we didn't miss it. But it would have been nice just to drop it on the spot. It's got to be a single shot as well, so it's no good uh, hitting this and then tracking it down and hitting it again. It's got to be one single shot or it doesn't count in the competition. But uh, I'm guessing that's a body. Yep. No. <laughs> But like I say, the thing is with the fox, uh, hopefully we just travel a little distance and it'll drop down dead. The good thing about animals, you do hit with a bow, they will die at some point. Unlike a rifle, where like body shots and stuff, uh, some animals will just keep running. You'll probably never find them during the hunt, but with an arrow they will die, normally within 20-30 minutes. Yeah, that's our fox. I wasn't sure about whether that was our fox or not because one's just called and um, I was still tracking the one we were obviously just hit. I'm going to call it in. We'll collect this fox. That will be uh, our entry, this one. But we have got another fox coming in, so if we see it, we might take that one as well. There's lots of foxes in this area and doll sheep are just... Um, in between that valley there there's quite a lot of them like I say if you check the image I'm going to put in the video description you will see I've marked that area for uh, the doll sheep and also foxes are just very close in similar area right here's the fox in order to see it in this white so it doesn't matter about the score but we've got our fox <laughs> look at this sneaky foxes there look <laughs> purple bomb in the background if we take this uh, trophy shot quickly beautiful setting we should be able to turn around and uh, hit fox hopefully kill it that means Ron's got two f arctic fox two of his most hated species we've got two in one go what will we have if we get it come here you <laughs> no they must know look at him running off with an arrow in him little beggars so we finally tracked the other one down the fur is brilliant I hope the bobcat's got this kind of fur on it the, the detail because it's probably got some of the best fur in the game the arctic fox nice trophy shot material there so that's our second species done the next one is the doll sheep now one thing I'll tell you about these from hunting them with a bow is I can tell you if you don't hunt them regularly with a bow you probably don't notice that they spook quite easily and I mean about 80 meters out a male decent male will just run off now 80 meters sh shot with a bow is not a simple shot not most people will not get that or even try that and because most people hunt them with rifles, they probably don't know this because it's just a 100 meter rifle shot is blindfold stuff. So hunting them with a bow is quite fun and a good challenge. So Ron's found a male. I'm going to do my SAS crawl across the snow. Try and get close to him. Like I say, they are quite spooky. They look quite a nice one. I haven't got high enough scores yet on uh, doll sheep to see uh, the exact score yet so um, they just look quite nice by the horns but what I'm going to say is I will be hunting these a lot more now with a bow because it makes a lot of difference I don't know if you've just seen there my screen went slightly darker it's because I was pressing Z um, Z with sunglasses on makes a tint like I just said before makes it less white but the thing is on my screen it's not ideal how I'd like it it'd be nice if they could have like a slider so you get it to the sort of tint you'd like to use uh, I think that would make it a very popular um, addition to the game currently it's sort of like one shade that's it most people got different monitors and whatever so it's not ideal for everyone like I say add a slider that function would be a lot better 
Right, where's this doll sheep? Oh, he's there. He's got his back turned to me. Not ideal. You'd like him side on or front on. He's about 55 to 60 meters out, but that's not too bad for the snake bite. When he stops again, I'm going to take a shot. How's your event been going for the 2017 Summer Fiesta? What's been your favourite missions, comps? Is there something you think they could add for the next event? Add them in descriptions. We've got a Bobcat coming soon, which I can't wait for. I wonder if they're working on a new reserve. I wouldn't be surprised because it's been a while since Timber Gold. So, Bobcat first, probably a new reserve after. Halloween will be coming up soon as well, so there's plenty going on in the Hunter at the moment. Lots to look forward to. Lots of new content. Where is this doll sheep? He was quite close. I'm going to pop up in a minute and have another look. Like I say, I don't want to spook him. Spooked a couple of about 80 metres, just doing similar to this, so I really don't want to uh, keep running around the reserve looking for him. But this location, um, at Danforth's Refuge, just behind it, does seem to have doll sheep all the time. I'm also busy on my uh, series on the trophy lodges, so remember to get your comments in on the other video, what you want me to hunt next. I think a lot of people want to see me hunt Rocky Mountain Elk. Wolves have been coming up quite a lot, which are a great animal. So whatever wins in the comments is what I hunt next for the next episode. Right, where is this doll sheep? We must be close now. They are tricky. Sneaky little customers. I think he's just in front of me. Yeah, I can just see a little outline of him. Right, before he gets any further, I'm going to take a shot. Here he goes, wish me luck. <laughs> yep, straight down. So that's our final objective of the competition. I tell you what, I've really enjoyed this. I do like white rhyme anyway, but normally when I come to white rhyme, I come for hunting moose and bison. So it's been nice hunting other species. Like Arctic fox, I wouldn't normally hunt them, but I've enjoyed hunting them, uh, yeah, even though I don't like them much. What a great set in here. Sunken ship in the ice. Nice big uh, doll sheep. Take a trophy shot. So that's been me, Ron McTube. We've been doing the Summer Fiesta 2017 Marksmanship Challenge. Please subscribe to my YouTube channels. Hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching. Bye bye.